You are listening to KSG podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about IMD's benchmark for monsoon prediction. Source for the content is the Indian Express. The country is likely to receive a normal monsoon for the fourth consecutive year. The Indian Meteorological Department said in its first long-range forecast. for this year released on the 14th of April 2022 rainfall in the four month june to september southwest monsoon season was in the normal range in 2019 2020 and 2021 as well now talking about the long period average the imd predicts a normal below normal or above normal monsoon in relation to a benchmark long period average that is lpa according to the imd the lpa of rainfall is the rainfall recorded over a particular region for a given interval like month or season averaged over a long period like 30 years 50 years etc the imd's prediction of a normal monsoon on the 14th of april was based on the lpa of the 1971 to 2020 periods during which india received 87 cm of rain for the entire country on average the imd has in the past calculated the lpa at 88 cm for the 1961 to 2010 periods and at 89 cm for the 1951 to 2000 while this quantitative benchmark refers to the average rainfall recorded from june to september for the entire country the amount of rain that falls every year varies from region to region and from month to month therefore along with the country wide figure the imd also maintains lpas for every meteorological region of the country this number ranges from around 61 cm for the dry and northwest india to more than 143 cm for the wetter east and northeast india in its faqs on the monsoon the imd gives the example of the lpa of the southwest monsoon rainfall over kerala 556 mm 659 mm 427 mm and 252 mm for the months of june july august and september respectively broken down month wise for the entire country the lpa figures for this season are 16.36 cm for june 28.92 cm for july 26.13 cm for august and 17.34 cm for september now the question is why lpa is needed the imd records rainfall data at more than 2400 locations and 3500 rain gauge stations because annual rainfall can vary greatly not just from region to region and from month to month but also from year to year within a particular region or month and lpa is needed to smooth out trends so that a reasonably accurate prediction can be made a 50 year lpa covers for large variations in either direction caused by freak years of unusually high or low rainfall as well as for the periodic drought years and the increasingly common extreme weather events caused by climate change now we get to the range of normal rainfall in this forecast on the 14th of april the imd said and i quote southwest monsoon seasonal rainfall over the country as a whole is most likely to be normal that is 96 to 104% of the lpa quantitatively the monsoon seasonal rainfall is likely to be 99% of the lpa with a model error of 5% The LPA of the season rainfall over the country as a whole for the period 1971 to 2020 is 87 cm. Now the IMD maintains five rainfall distribution categories on an all India scale. These are normal or near normal when the percentage departure of actual rainfall is plus minus 10% of LPA that is between 96 to 104% of LPA below normal when departure of actual rainfall is less than 10% of LPA that is 90 to 96% of LPA above normal when actual rainfall is 104 to 110% of LPA deficient when departure of actual rainfall is less than 90% of the LPA and excess when the departure of actual rainfall is more than 110% of LPA That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the IELTS exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgindia.com. Thanks for listening and do subscribe to our channel.